Ambassador Horace Greeley Dawson, Jr., trailblazing diplomat and educator. He was born in Augusta, Georgia in the 1920s, inspired by dedicated parents and excelling despite the injustices and challenges of the segregated South. He earned degrees from Lincoln University, Columbia University, and the University of Iowa. Teaching was his first profession, laying the foundation for the rest of his life. I like to think that I combined throughout my career the teaching with the uh, diplomatic service and that these two careers were, were for me anyway, anyway intertwined. I taught, for example, and helped to establish the uh, communications program at University of Nigeria. And I did some lecturing at the University of Botswana, so I was not ever entirely divorced from teaching. Recruited by renowned broadcaster Edward R. Murrow, Horace Dawson became one of the first African Americans to join the United States Information Agency, USIA. It was 1962, and soon after, he and his family headed to Africa and a new life in foreign service. And immediately I came into um, the service, I was uh, assigned to Uganda uh, in East Africa and uh, had a wonderful experience of helping them to uh, open a boys club. In Nigeria, uh, I established what was known as the Kennedy Essay Contest and provided scholarship opportunities for essay winners to come to the United States and uh, study. It was one of the uh, very important things in my foreign service career. Over the years, Ambassador Dawson also held important positions in Liberia and the Philippines, and in 1979 became the United States Ambassador to Botswana. While there, he strengthened relations between the U.S. and Botswana and was recognized for his efforts on behalf of independence in Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Namibia. Ambassador Dawson says the comfort and support of his family was crucial to his success. Throughout my career in foreign service, my family traveled with me. My wife uh, was a part of the foreign service life. She was very good at it. She was, in fact, she was a great encouragement to me in it and a great supporter of me. Yet even after all these accomplishments, he was, in the words of the old Negro spiritual, no ways tired. The day after he retired from USIA, he joined the Howard University faculty and eventually founded the Ralph J. Bunch International Affairs Center. The Bunch Center um, uh, has a focus on promoting international affairs at the university and also providing a training ground for students who hopefully will enter foreign service. And indeed, a number of them have done so. It was the beginning of a great adventure among uh, young people of the highest caliber at an institution that is really a great contributor to the United States and to the world. And that has really been a highlight of my life that uh, I shall always treasure and remember, just as I shall the honorary degree of which I'm most proud. Ambassador Horace Greeley Dawson, Jr a long, distinguished career in both international affairs and higher education, and now a 2016 Howard University Honorary Degree recipient. Congratulations, Ambassador Dawson.